How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocky Gal, and welcome to another summoning session. We've got the holiday lessons with the three houses lords, uh, minus Claude, plus Yunaka. This is a pretty insane banner. Everyone here is absolutely bonkers, so without further ado, let's get into it. It kind of sucks that there's no tickets on these uh, seasonal banners, because boy, oh boy, would I have loved to get some tickets on here. I mean, a lot of... With four sparks, I feel like we could have gotten one ticket, maybe two tickets, or just something, you know? But, uh, I guess maybe not this time around. But yeah, yeah, definitely excited about this banner. Um, I didn't think I'd be excited about Three Houses still, but, uh, but here we are, you know? That's just, that's just a world we live in, where IS just gives us more Three Houses, and, and I open up my wallet. So... It's undeniable that Three Houses sells, but I'd like to preface this by saying it's your fault, IS, for making the units insanely powerful if you just made my precious genealogy the Holy War or Fate's characters powerful, then I'd be opening my wallet there as well. I mean, I guess I open my wallet for everything anyways, but uh, other people would as well. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go full circles every color because I do want to get multiple copies of everyone. Um, they've all got some crazy fodder. I definitely want Yunaka. Uh, in particular, I want to fodder off her... Oh, B-Skill? What's it called? Something Strike or something? It's basically the physical version of a cultist strike. I do want to give that to certain characters. So I would love to get multiple copies of her. So, uh, there's that. So yeah, in case you want to know what the rates are, here are what they look like. Um, you know, pretty standard for the most part. It's It sucks that there's no uh, four-star focus unit. For, um, so that kind of sucks. I'm pretty sure they have one every winter banner, except this one, because uh, <laughs> three houses, right? I don't know, they could have done something where they made Yunaka one. I, I don't know if that would have been controversial. Or maybe Edelgard or Dimitri. I think they really wanted to make Aogar and Dimitri super broken, so they're like, fuck it, we're gonna make them super broken, and you guys are just gonna have to deal with it. But yeah, uh, if you guys are going for green, uh, you should be in luck, because the green rates are always pretty good. So uh, yeah, best of luck to everyone who is summoning, because it's a fun time. Actually, it's something that was revealed today during like the uh, data mines and everything was that there was a new ore pack. Um, it had a manual of Volk, which I found kind of strange. I don't know if it had something to do with the fact that he has Lethality, which you could give to Yunaka. I don't know if she's the best user of it. I don't remember if she has any sort of special acceleration sort of situations. Um, I guess you could do that if you want. Um, so that was a little strange. I don't, I don't remember if we usually get, like, cr like winter, Christmassy kind of ore packs. But, uh, yeah, the Volk one was interesting, I suppose. Which, and, of course, I got it because I needed the orbs anyways. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll take another uh, Volk manual. Why not? Uh, by the way, I was curious. Well, I wanted to show you guys off some of my Binding Worlds finds. Uh, because, I, oh, all right. We've got a Catherine. Very cool. Very nice. Thunder Knight. Very epic. Let's go. All right, yeah, that is fantastic. Um, anyways, what I was saying, yes, Binding Worlds. I got some pretty good stuff that I wanted to showcase to you guys. So, uh, here we go. <laughs> so this first one, I'm going from, like, lowest level to highest level, just so you guys get a little chronology of the interesting units that I found. Uh, this first one I want to show you guys is this Garrick. Um, I don't think I'm going to be picking this guy up, but I will say that this is a really good Garrick. Um, he has the Prime skill, Attack Speed Prime, 4, and he uses it really well. I didn't even know this, but his weapon, his re refined weapon, actually gives him two statuses, and then the rest of his kit gives him an extra two, so he is self-sufficiently able to prime himself up, so... Uh, actually, I was a big fan of this Garrick. Um, too bad I probably won't be picking this Garrick up. Uh, next find I found was this, uh, Morgan. This female Morgan. Um, you know, nothing super insane or anything. She doesn't even have the, uh, like, 
arcane weapon, so it's not super insane, but I just want to show this off because Morgan is one of my favorite characters from Awakening. Um, and she does have Occultist Strike, so that's pretty good. I mean, Occultist Strike is really freaking good, man. So, uh, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to be picking this unit up. It's just uh, it's not super good, but I just want to show this off. Uh, this next one I found was this... Uh, uh, what do we call this? Dancing? I mean, Dancing Azura? Norian Azura? Is that what we call it? I'm just going to call her Norian Azura for now. Um, this is a unit I always kind of wanted to build, but I just never really had the opportunity. Um, or the fodder, or the, the will. But this one is pretty interesting. She's got the arcane weapon, uh, arcane downfall in this regard. I think she probably would do, or use the other one better. Oh my god! Yes, we got Edelgard! No fall future. I am Edelgard von Pressfeld. I will deliver a winter's eve so outstanding it will rival that of the Adrestian Empire. Wait, does the Adrestian Empire even get winters? It's not Fargus, right? Okay, interesting. Not the best IVs, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Not bad. This unit is kind of nutty. I like the art. Tepish did a very good job. Really like the cape and everything. So very cool there. Uh, yeah, we're getting some more prime skills. Raging Tempest is kind of insane. I wish it had more of a winter theme around it, but, uh, it is what it is. And, um, I mean, th yeah, this unit is just fucking insane. So, pretty awesome to get a copy of her. Uh, anyways, I was saying about this Azura. So, yeah, definitely a great build. Um, but I don't think I'll be picking this one up either. She's, uh... I don't know, with the Binding World formas, you only get one, so there's only so much. I, I gotta be really picky, you know? So, um, as much as I really kind of want to pick this one up, I, I can't, but it is really cool. Uh, next, I found this Ninja Corrin, actually very powerful. When I was using her, I mean, like, she was just doing 14 damage right off the bat and then doubling, hitting super hard, really good. Um, my... Ninja Corn has been rocking the base kit because I'll be honest, I'm lazy, I'm cheap, and I don't want to give fodder to a character who I felt like was doing pretty well as is. But after I use this corn, I'm like, holy shit, I have not unlocked the true potential of this corn. So this one is actually a, like the front runner of someone I think I might um, redeem. Not totally sure on that quite yet, but. Like, I got a really good time using this, uh, Corrin, so, yeah, really, really think I might pick this one up. Uh, the next one I found was this Kranya. Uh, pretty good. I think she's got all the fodder she wants. Um, attack, speed, uh, attack speed Hexblade is really good. Fatal Smoke 4 is extremely good on her. Uh, she has Arcane Void, which is a little weird, but I, I, you know, I guess it's for, for better value and stuff, because you, you could just, uh, refine her weapon yourself if you really need to. Um, but yeah, this one wasn't too bad. I don't know if Echo, or Fleeting Echo was the best skill on her. I guess it's probably fine. I don't know if Death Glow would be better. I, I don't know. I guess it's, it's fine, you know? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, next. Okay, this one I definitely wasn't going to pick up at all. But I wanted to show this because I thought it was, it was funny. Uh, here is this, uh, Surter with the Arcane Prima. Um, Fury 4, Gambit 4, and Assault Troop. It's, uh, it was a really weird unit. I, I can't say it was, like, the best unit in the universe. Um, but I thought it was funny. So, and it, it was kind of cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah. It just kind of reminds me of the fact that Surter still doesn't have Weapon Refine, which in and of itself is kind of funny. So, uh, yeah. Definitely a pretty fun unit. Um, but I don't think I'll be picking this one up. Uh, next is this Mirabilis. I thought, oh yeah, we're at the spark now. Who are we going to spark? Let us go for... I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess I'm only going to go for three sparks, so I guess it does kind of matter. Let's go for Dimitri first. Eh, no, his chance, his summon rate's still pretty high. In, in theory. I guess we'll go for the Byleths first. And there we go. Look at that. Frosty Professors. The art is so good on this one. We are both Byleths from different worlds, but together, we will fulfill our obligations as Winter Envoys. You can't even tell which Byleth said that. Was it the, the Byleth or, or the Byleth, you know? Uh, tough to say, really. 
But okay, cool. On to the second park, I suppose. So yeah, um, anyways, I want to talk about this Mirabilis. Um, definitely kind of a weird, offensive Mirabilis. Generally, you don't really want your dancers to fight for the most part. You just want them to dance. Um, especially one that's on a defense team. But she's got aerial maneuvers and soaring guidance. I mean, the aerial maneuvers part is a little bit uh, sus just because she's gonna move out and and probably attack someone rather than dance someone. And I just don't want her to do that necessarily. But it, she was a pretty good unit in play in like non AI hands. In, in the player's hands, it was pretty fun. But I don't think I really want this in my defense team. But she was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't know, it's, it was a little weird, a little a little strange to use Arcane Eleuthnir instead of her normal weapon. But apart from that, it was it was an interesting unit. Uh, next unit, and this one is another front runner of who I think I might redeem, is this uh, Spring Idun and Fey. Um, oh, alright, we got a Moose Spell, God of Flame, or the Flame God. I feel like I get a lot of these guys, man. I think I might even be close to plus tending him, even though I never really wanted to. He's a cool guy. I remember people were dogging on his art when he was first shown, but eh, I never had a big problem with him. Anyways, uh, what I was saying was with it, Dune. This unit is really good. She's got the refine, she, and I think she's basically got the most optimal, optimal build that she wants. Um. Yeah, she's got the Scowl skill, which is really fucking good. She's got Vengeful Fighter 4, which is really good for, like, slower armors. I guess most armors are slower, but I think for her especially, it's pretty good. Um, she's got a save skill, so yeah. An armored beacon, can't forget armored beacon. So, uh, I really, really like this unit. Oh, we got a Lucina. Splendid Lucina. You know, as much as I don't love this art, I feel like people definitely shit on it too much. It's pretty good. I like the colors. It's just, I guess it's just because it's Lucina, people are like, I don't like it, guys. I mean, look at that. It's cool. Her brand uh, shines up. Actually, now the more I look at it, it looks pretty cool. This would have just been better if it was like a young, like, Lucina. Maybe not resplendent, you know? Like, they should have saved this for a young Lucina, because this would have looked really cool for a young Lucina. Honestly. But I can understand why, like, people don't love it, but actually, in a vacuum, it's actually some pretty sick art, honestly. I think, I think we all, uh, gotta give he Himukai Yuji an apology. Uh, anyways, moving on, moving on, uh, to my other, uh, Binding World finds. I did find Moomin's 717's, uh, Corrin. Uh, this one is pretty good as well. It's got Flared Sparrow and Incite Attack Speed, which is pretty interesting. Always great to get more damage. Um, however, I do think getting the plus 14 at the beginning is really, really important. But I think this one's pretty good as well. Fleeting Echo, I don't know if that's super good on her. Oh, hey, we got another Edelgard. Epic. That is awesome. All right, come on, attack, please. All right, neutral. Okay, all right. I can, I can dig that. Cool. But yeah, this Corrin, um, I mean, she still does a lot of damage. Both Corrins I showcased deal a fuck ton of damage, so I'm not complaining on that regard. Um, but I don't, again, I don't know if Fleeting Echo is the best one. I think the Death Blow one would have been probably a little better, but overall, yeah, this Corrin is looking very strong. It's very strong. I am definitely, uh, divided between the two Corrins. They're both extremely good, so it might even just come down to a coin flip, honestly. <laughs> Uh, and then the last unit that I found that I wanted to uh, showcase a little bit was this, uh, what people have been calling the biblically accurate uh, Legendary Lelena, just because of the Flared Sparrow plus the Gifted Magic. I mean, she's going to be doing a lot of damage in the beginning, man. And it's kind of hilarious. I just wish, actually, I wish she had like a Cultist Strike too. If she had a Cultist Strike, this might have been the winner. Uh, oops. Um, but... Yeah, I really actually have a pretty highly merged uh, Lelena. I think she's like plus six or something, or plus five, which is pretty good for someone I, you know, wasn't ever really chasing copies of. So, um, 
I thought maybe I probably should give her a new build, and honestly, the the flared sparrow might not be the best. You probably want a uh, flared mirror. I think that's what that's called. But I didn't find one with flared mirror yet, so my options were limited. But yeah, this one is another one. Oh, nice! We got Yunaka. Very awesome. It's that mysterious winter envoy, Yunaga, here to spread holiday cheer. Sh does she have like a cake topper or something? I guess it's a cake. It looks like a cake topper, but I know it's like a knife that she slits her enemies' throats with. You know, very, very Yuletide festive cheer. Oh, I like that. I like how she actually gets fucking serious with her special. I wonder if her gifts actually reflect people like, like they do in... For the other, like, winter characters that have, like, gifts flying around. Um, I don't know if any of these remind me of any engaged characters, necessarily. Like, like, what the fuck is this? Is that for... For Lear? I, I don't know. For Sami? <laughs> it's hard to tell, exactly. Um, I'm sure someone on Reddit or something are gonna dissect that out for us, but... Uh, yeah. Fantastic fart. Like, oh my god. Yeah. I hope I get multiple copies of her so I can fodder her off. I have some plans for her. I... I will keep the one copy, of course, but I do want to fodder her off to some people. Very cool, very nice, and actually a fantastic unit that I plan on uh, putting on my defense team. I've definitely been r running a lot of cavalries on my defense lately, and I feel like she'd fit right in. Honestly, she does not look like a unit you want to tank. Like, up to 90% damage reduction piercing is insane. It's crazy. Oh. It's Burkut. Alright, nice. I wish Burkut got a better weapon refined, man. But I guess you could just give him the arcane Xiang and he'll be okay. What are his... Okay. I don't think I... I still think to this day I don't have one that's plus attack yet. And he's like plus five right now or something? Come on. Like... I don't know what Burkut's doing, but uh... Yeah, he's, he's not coming in with the right IVs, bruh. Uh, but yeah, that was basically all the uh, Binding Worlds finds that I uh, wanted to showcase for now. I mean, we still got like a week or so before the event is up. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We got a prevail. Actually, I ended up, I did end up uh, getting this guy. And then I had to fodder him. I At this point, I don't even remember who I foddered him to. I think it might have been, yeah, who did I fodder physical null fault? I don't remember. But I did fodder him off to someone, and I've been on the hunt for him ever since. And I'm actually really happy that I was able to get another copy of him. So that's awesome. Uh, anyways, what was I saying? Okay, cool. Yeah, that was all the uh, characters on the showcase. Let me know if you guys found anything cool. Uh, the character that I sent out was a Winter Altina, just because uh, I saw that Oblivion was like, if anyone has a Winter Altina, I'm around. And I was like, yo, I got you covered. I don't know if he's actually plans on picking up the Winter Altina if if he finds it, but I did send out the Winter Altina. I think someone did say they wanted to get it. So uh, yeah, to anyone who wanted her, uh, enjoy. Uh, the only thing I should have done probably was to adjust her IV. She is like neutral. I probably should have given her plus attack. Um, oops. Uh, well, in any case, um, I'm sure you guys have enough straight fruits to do it yourselves. Uh, <laughs> actually, sorry. I probably should have done that before. Um, but yeah. That is how my Binding Worlds is going so far. Uh, also something I wanted to discuss was the Hall of Forms lineup. So, it's gonna be Radiant Dawn this time. And instead of a Legendary, we're getting a Mythic, we're getting Yoon. Or I guess Yune, I think they retconned the pronunciation of her name is as Yoon now. So I guess I'll just say Yoon, even though it's first Yune. Um, yeah, she's gonna be pretty cool. I don't think she's gonna have remote or, or flared mirror uh, available for her just yet. But, um, oh, nice, we got to do awesome, more three houses luck. <laughs> oh yeah, I love the plus speed minus defense to do. Let's go. Alright, that's pretty awesome. But yeah, we got Yoon, so 
that's gonna be pretty interesting. I'm excited to see what some of the uh, Fate tubers out there are gonna say are the optimal build. Um, I probably will be picking her up. So yeah, pretty cool there. Um, another one that has me excited is Summer Micaiah. So Summer Micaiah, I always felt like was one of the better units from that summer banner way back when. I feel like she was definitely sidelined a little bit because like, oh my god, three houses and Claude's the best four star, like, focus unit ever kind of situation. But she's actually pretty good. Actually, I think terribly underrated. I think she is fantastic, very strong. Having effectiveness against cavalry and uh, armors is pretty good, especially the armor stuff. Pretty freaking good with uh, brave attacks. Yeah, I definitely want to get her an updated build, if I can help it. I don't think she's going to be able to get occultists, um, a cultist's occultist strike. Uh, oh, nice! We got a Hinoka. I've definitely been on the search for merges for her, so very cool. What is her IVs? Want to know? Okay, well, that's fine. We, I still got a lot of copies left to go anyways. Um, for our next spark, I shall go... Oh, I don't know. We did not get a Dimitri yet, did we? Okay, I... I'm gonna hold off on Dimitri one more time, but... Uh, we do have a, a third spark, so I guess for now we're gonna go for Yunaka. Again. Alright, cool. Anyways, at least we got our summon bubble, focus charge bubble shits uh, filled up now, so we are guaranteed a really good five star afterwards so looking forward to that but yeah um other characters on that hall of forms lineup uh there's summer alencia who is pretty good she's a pretty good uh merge project from the grail shop i don't think i'll be picking her up personally i definitely did spend a decent amount of her for her bow the uh i believe it's called white cap bow uh, before the, uh, arcane weapons, it was probably the best inheritable bow for most characters, so I, uh, I did that, so I, um, I don't think I'm gonna be picking her up. And then last but not least is Hatari Nyla. Um, this one's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm definitely kind of, like, wondering if I should pick her up, because I definitely really like Nyla. Nyla is my favorite, like, Tellius Lagoo's royal. On the other hand, I don't... I don't know if I want to pick her up, you know, I, I don't think she's the best beast unit or anything, and she's not going to be getting a weapon refined for quite a long time. Oh, okay, we got another Yunaka, nice. Actually kind of strange, considering she's a colorless unit. In theory, it should be pretty hard to get her, but sometimes, you know, RNG is just very weird. So, there we go. Oh, but yeah, but... Atari Nyla, I'm still still arguing in my head on whether I want to pick her up or not, so that one's a big question mark. But overall, the lineup's pretty interesting, so pretty uh, excited for uh, building up some characters there. Definitely going to be 100% going to be pick up, picking up Yoon, and 50% uh, likely to get Summer Micaiah, and I don't think I'll be getting the other two. Um, so yeah, there we go. Also, something I wanted to discuss is the fact that we're getting a legendary at the end of the month. And judging from, like, the track record, I think it's going to be an Earth legendary. Um, it's not guaranteed, of course, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be. Because the last one we got was Legendary Robin way, way back. So we're overdue for Earth legendary. So I'm going to go over some of my speculations. So my guess is, um... Well, first, I think Quan could be a candidate, Legendary Quan. Um, he does wield the Gay Bowl, which is like an Earth kind of uh, lance, I believe. I mean, uh, his daughter, Altina, wields an Earthly Gay Bowl. So, okay, maybe I don't know enough about Norse mythology, but I'm pretty sure that means that the Gay Bowl is Earth-affiliated, which would make Quan a good candidate for an Earth Legendary. So, I'm thinking that. I'm also thinking possibly Finn. Although, I don't think this one's likely, because if we have Finn as an Earth Legendary, that means uh, Thracia776 will have two Earth Legendaries, Nana and Finn. And I really don't think that that's likely. Honestly, Finn probably might be more of a Wind uh, Legendary. Actually, that makes more sense. Never mind. I redact my guess of Finn as an Earth Legendary. Um, I do have some other guesses. 
I think that maybe we could get a Path of Radiance Ike. I know we've got nor or I guess legendary Ike, legendary like Radiant Dawn Ike, but I want a Path of Radiance legendary Ike when he's a lord. You know, we never really see that. They probably could make him like an ascended down the line or something, but I really think they should make him a legendary because Path of Radiance doesn't have legendaries, which is why they had to put legendary Ike in the Hall of Forms last month, which was in my opinion, kind of ridiculous. So how does pa Path of Radiance not have a legendary unit, you know? Every game does, except for spin-offs and whatnot, but I really think Path of Radiance needs to have one. So I think uh, Path of Radiance Legendary Ike could be one. Um, it might be weird that he's Earth as well, just like his Radiant Dawn version, but I mean, it fits. I don't think any other element fits him except maybe fire i suppose but i think earth is also a fitting element for him and then here is a possible candidate from engage i'm thinking maybe alfred could be one um if i were to give each of the like engage royals an element i would give alfred earth i would give diamant fire i would give um ivy water and i would give uh tamara wind so, down the line, when those guys all get legendaries... Oh my god, another Yunaga? Wait, have we, have we not gotten a Dimitri yet? What the fuck? Alright, Yunaga, I did say I did want to get a couple copies of you. But, like, like, cool down, girl. I did want to get some, uh, some Fargus action, too, okay? But, hey, I can't complain about that. Really cool. Glad to see her. Um... Yeah, so I think Alfred could be a candidate. I know this is coming from the person who's, well, whose favorite character from Engage is Alfred, but I really do believe that Alfred has the best shot of being a legendary, um, especially an Earth legendary. I don't know if they'll do it so soon, especially so soon after the Veil uh, release. So, um, yeah, it's tough to say, really. I guess my... If I were to put money on it, my guess would be probably Path of Radiance Ike, but, uh, I mean, for all we know, it might not even be Earth again, and it might skip over for water or something. I don't- I don't know. I don't know. Do I look like a game dev? I don't- I don't know what I'm doing. So, so those are my guesses, so, uh, take those guesses for what they are. Uh, dumb guesses. <laughs> Alright, we're actually nearing the third spark. And I guess we're gonna have to pick up Dimitri now. Um, which is fine, of course. Uh, I wasn't necessarily gonna make him a merge project or anything, or get like him at plus 10 or anything. So even if I just get one, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I did have some questions I wanted to answer, but I will save those for the next video. I don't wanna rush through any of them. I'll wait for the legendary Ike. The legendary Path of Radiance Ike video later this month. That is when I'll answer those questions. It better be Pathoranius Ike or else I will riot. I will write to IS, tell them to hire me so I can put Pathoranius Ike in myself. Because I think it's a pretty good idea, honestly. And we need more Ikes. I feel like it's been a while since we got an Ike. Actually, was it since the young Ike? Which is a while ago and honestly wasn't even the best when he first came out. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's about time we get Ike back into the meta again with a new, uh, legendary, uh, younger version of himself. Anyways, we are nearing the third spark. The, uh, Prince of Fargus has definitely tried to elude me, but he shall elude me no longer because that is what sparks are for, for guaranteed summons. So, actually, we do have enough or for another spark, should I? Uh, but we got New Year's, we got Legendary. I think I'm gonna... I know this is very un-Rocket Girl-ish. <laughs> Rocket Girl. Rocket Gal-ish thing to do, but I need to save up some orbs, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold off on summoning uh, after this spark. But anyways, a, a sacred festival of Asker. On behalf of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, I am honored to serve as a Winter Envoy. Alright. So we did get everyone. Uh, thank God there were extra sparks. <laughs> Which makes me think that they should just make every banner four sparks from now on, honestly, just to prevent the salt. You know, that's, I'm just saying, IS. Again, you don't need to hire me. You just you just give me all the royalties. Uh, but yeah, goddamn, goddamn, this is a nice uh, unit. 
I'm, okay, maybe I'm not the biggest fan of the art. Like, I like the co the costume. I'm just not the biggest fan of his. The artist, Argon Tris Inc. Um, I don't know, not my favorite, but still really good. Okay, don't get me wrong. Still fantastic. And yeah, no quarter, inheritable, and inheritable to uh, basically everyone except for armors and, or I guess non-ranged armors is pretty good, honestly. It's really fucking good. Yeah, this unit, I think he's probably the scariest one on the banner, personally. Uh, again, we'll have to see down the line, but yeah, this character is gonna be bonkers. Uh, that's my prediction. Anyways, I will see you guys at the recap. Alright, so this is what we've got today. So, we <laughs> we got four Hunakas, which is kind of insane. I All I said was I wanted more than one. I mean, I guess I got my wish. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We we got the one Byleth. Actually, the Byleth and the Dimitri really eluded me. Those are from the Spark, so... Um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we got, uh, the Edelgard. We got two Edelgards. Once, Actually, none of these are sparks, now that I think about it. So, yeah, I guess Edelgard really likes me. Uh, she knows that, uh, Black Eagles was my first route, so, obviously, I am the Edelgard magnet of sorts, I guess. Uh, yeah, pretty cool to get, uh, to get all this. It's not my biggest, uh, you know, summoning haul of all time, but, uh, Hey, I got everyone, so I can't complain. So yeah, pretty cool. So that is how I did. Uh, please let me know how you all did. Do you guys summon on this banner because it's broken or because it's got some of your favorite three houses characters? Or are you going to be saving for potentially Path of Radiance Legendary Ike down the line? Or New Year's? I know New Year's is always pretty crazy and almost always has a pretty meta duo unit. So be on the lookout for what they might be uh, providing for us this New Year's. So yeah, that about covers it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, talking with me, and I hope you guys have a won wonderful holidays, no matter what your take on the holidays are. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this summoning session of the latest Winter Banner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.